Hey guys, so um, I wanted to bring another video on here and talk about how um, letting people into your life can really make your life's journey even much more enjoyable. It's not easy being open because you are afraid of someone's going to use your vulnerability. Someone is going to attack you when you are in a vulnerable open state because you've been through it already, right? You've trusted females in the past who um, gave you their butts to kiss. You trusted men in the past where you were able to be open with them and they betrayed you. But don't let that continue to bust up your life to where you feel like I can't trust anyone else in the world ever again. Because you don't want to live like that. You just don't. Like you don't want to live a shell of yourself. You want to be able to show up in the world happy. You want to be able to show up in the world genuine. And that takes time when you've been betrayed or you've been hurt or you've been talked about knowingly that you didn't do anything wrong. You didn't do anything to deserve that because you're a good person. Like there are a lot of good people in this world who you don't even know are good people because they are so closed off because they've been damaged so much from the world. But don't let that be you. Don't let what you've been through um, make you look like you don't care about yourself anymore. Make you look like um, you don't like people at all. You know, and there may be some truth to it. <laughs> you may not like people, but you still want to have an inviting countenance, even though sometimes you do go through things and you have to process it, but don't let it um, make your whole life feel like I can't trust anyone or I don't want to have anyone around because I've, I've been betrayed before I've been hurt before right uh, everybody that comes to your life is not gonna hurt you there are some people in the world who will meet you for the first time and be like you know what um, I like this person I want to keep this guy or this girl around and um, you don't think it happens or exists but it does and I, I, I can be a testament to it because um, I'm a very close-up person, very introverted, even though I have an extroverted personality. Um, but I am very, I internalize everything. And um, I, I would rather do things by myself because I know I'm going to get it done than have to rely on somebody because most people don't even know how to tie their shoes, right? Or they don't even care to help someone out. They don't even care to follow through because they've been, uh, they've been dropped before, basically, right? But um, don't let that make you not want to let anyone else in. You have to gauge it. You have to have your own um, spirit of discernment and your own um, trust your gut, basically. But don't, don't live a life where you can't enjoy it because you can't let people in. So number one, you got to be open to new people. You got to be open to new friendships, new mentors, new people who you don't know from a, a can of paint you know gauge their interaction with you but just know that there are some people who genuinely want to see you in there are people who genuinely want um, to be your friend and they get to know you and it takes time it, it takes time to build relationships um, but I had met this girl I met her in August and <laughs> and I kind of got the vibe that she was a little a little uh, insecure about being around another pretty black girl right she wanted to be the only one in my mind but I gave her a chance because she wasn't evil but that was my first impression of her right so I had to continue to spend time around her and see that she was a genuine person it's just that sometimes when people first meet you um, they judge you off of your looks they judge you off of what, how you present yourself and they may they might feel a certain type of way but then you, you being around you have to get them comfortable to you like and I've been in this instance time and time again with females where I feel like the way that I present myself other women don't like it um, and, I, and I'm the type of person who won't talk to you like unless I'm talked to you and then they so they think that I'm stuck up when really I'm like the most funniest person you'll ever meet I'm the most emotionally intelligent person you'll ever meet like I'm the most caring person you'll ever meet but you'll never know that if you're judging off exterior right so since I've been in that instance plenty of times I know to give people specifically women time to get to know me right 
And when they do, they always are saying like, man, I thought you were stuck up. <laughs> man, I thought you walked around with your nose in the air. But really, like you, you were down, cool ass person. Stop judging a book by its character, duh. But anyways, <laughs> still be open to giving people a chance because no one's perfect, including us, right? So since we know that no one's perfect, we have to be able um, to give people time, time to show us who they really are, basically, right? Be open to different mindsets. Be open to different mind frames. Like, um, you can accept someone for how they view things and how they think, but don't let it change your 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 view or your mindset of, of how you think too. Especially your foundation. Like, there's some people who you will not ever agree with, but it doesn't mean you have to hate them. It doesn't mean you can't still tolerate them, right? Try to tolerate somebody with a smile on your face. It's not, it's not gonna be easy, but I'm telling you, that will help you make it through life even better because if you're gonna always encounter people that you don't like, you're gonna always encounter people who will get on your last nerve, who you know who don't have any good intentions for you. But the fact that you're able to maneuver around them will, will add an extra tool to your toolkit of life. Trust me. Okay, um, and this is the one I think is so important. You have to be willing to forgive your family. There's people who you love, a brother, an uncle, a sister, an aunt, a mom and a dad, who will get on your last nerve. But your family is all, all you got sometimes. You know, like, um, some people don't have ill intentions, but the way that they say things can just get on your nerves and you know that they're completely wrong, but you have to be open to forgiving them because you have to be able to push forward because these people have either been right or die and been there forever or either they haven't, right? So there's 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 phases to it or or, or versions of it. You, you, can, you can forgive somebody and let them go on about their business, specifically if they're your family, right? You can forgive somebody and be like, look, we have to work to get back towards this this foundational loving relationship that we have or had, even though I feel like you hurt my feelings, even though I feel like you may have betrayed my trust. Sometimes when someone betrays your trust, you gotta let them go. Man, woman, dad, mom, brother, sister. But if you feel like it was kinda like a minute betrayal, maybe you can take your time to get over it and still process it and be like, look, I still love you, but you can kiss my behind. <laughs> let that be known, period, right? So just be open to forgiveness. And I feel like when you can forgive somebody, specifically if they are in your family, you can continue to move forward in life, just in general. Like you can, I feel like if you can work on those, those, those love relationships in your family, you can actually find yourself working on relationships with people at work, people that you are dating, people that you have to talk to who you don't even like, right? So this trains your mind and how you are thinking and how you can um, show up in the world and how you can maneuver every day. Trust me, I got to do that stuff all the time. My arm is looking good. Oh, it's good arms. <laughs> I need to do push-ups. But anyways, I hope that um, this video helped you to learn how to be open to things, open to people specifically, um, to love, to friendships, to family, to mentorship, so that you can grow as a person.